Welcome to Microsoft Power Automate training videos. In this video, we'll discuss difference between action and trigger, and also we'll use uh, send an email notification to the end user. Like when an item created, I want to send a notification to the user. We'll see how to send any email notifications to the end users. And also we have if condition in the flow, and we can use a if condition based on the condition, we'll do the actions on it. And also we'll check uh, the history in the flow. So for that, I'm going back to the Power Apps Studio, sorry, Power Automate uh, uh, screen here. In the make.powerautomate.com, we have created another uh, flow in the previous uh, session. So here when an item is created, I'm trying to update an item. So I'll remove this one from here. Click delete. Now we only have the trigger here. We already discussed about a triggers. So triggers are the start point of the flow. So which is when an item created, for example, and if we try to create a new flow, I'll click cancel and first we'll save this flow. Should I at least, okay. Um, I'll take a duplicate of this one. We'll come back to this page again and we'll try to add another actions. So to create a new flow, when we click create and here we have different type of flows when you click this automated flow now you can see the message here choose your flow trigger now we have different type of triggers are available so which is a start point of the flow when a new response is submitted in the ms uh, forms and uh, these are the sharepoint related triggers when an item created when an item created or updated so you can able to see the OneDrive related triggers as well you can able to see the gmail related triggers and microsoft teams related triggers and uh, google calendar we have microsoft azure devops we have and uh, dataverse also we have and uh, outlook we have Cup different type of triggers are available when you click show more and it loads it loads the power bi related triggers um, SQL server related triggers these are all SharePoint related triggers there are multiple triggers are available so th these triggers are the start point of the flow so based on an event which is which is happen in that particular technology the flow will start triggering on it so that is called a trigger and coming to the actions here when you click new step and now here you can able to see the actions and it is showing choose an operation these are all called actions now you can able to see which is showing actions and here you can able to see the triggers now i'll close this one here for example if i try to type sharepoint now you can able to see all the sharepoint related actions these are the actions like creating a file list root folder copy folder update item and uh, join a hub site stop sharing an item or get list views plenty of work there so these are all called actions if you go to the triggers these are the triggers and this is for this for a selected file which is a manual trigger when an item is deleted which is automated trigger when a file is created or modified which is automated trigger so these are all called triggers and these are all called actions actions is the things which we are doing inside the flows so for example now I'm trying to send an email so for that you can use send see there is a send an email v2 option is available and also you can able to see send email with options send an HTTP request we have send an email from a shared mailbox also available and uh, I'll take this outlook once you can able to see uh, plenty like uh, if I write send send an email v2 and we also have this send email with options send email http request send an email from a shared mailbox also available we'll discuss these actions later first we'll discuss about send an email we do this one now you can able to specify the email address here for example if i want to give this support at rishan solutions.com so this is the one and the subject is like um, I'll take a um, new item created in a city list um, you can take the title of that one here as a dynamic entry now this is a body here I'll type like hi team or maybe I'll take this uh, created by 
or, or whatever like you have options here for example you want to, uh, to take the created by display name you can able to take created by display name and I'm just saying that thank you for creating new item in the CT list and I'm just typing please find below details of your item that's it now here we can pass a dynamic information like uh, I'll type title and then I'll take the dynamic entries from here I'll type title I'll take the title here then so there is another one is department and you can take this department here So here we have couple and uh, I'll take this label because it's a management data column and after that inside this one and you can able to see I'll refresh this one or I'll remove this close this one so we have anniversary date birthday car phone city plenty of uh, things are available now I close this one I'll take this city here and then um, you can search city from the dynamic content take this city and then use comma and then we have um, something called car phone so we'll take that car phone i'll select this car phone so we have four that's enough then i'll put something like uh, thanks power automate team i'm just giving a power automate team here so this way we can able to notify when an item is created so i'll save this one meanwhile i'll go back here i'll click this one i'll try to open my outlook here and we'll come back and uh, here we are done with this one now which is saving and it will take a couple of seconds to save now this action is saved now once it is saved now what i want to do is I want to create a new item in this list and I, I'll create from the department content type so it, it contains other uh, things and this is for demo session and city is I'm just passing like Hyderabad the car phone which I give like 040 and uh, so data info which is an integer anniversary date which I'm taking something like this um, I'll take birthday and which is like uh, 11 and then I'll take a department is admin okay so when I save this one the data will save here so I'm expecting an email will trigger to my mailbox from the power automate one it will take a couple of seconds to start because uh, we just created this power automate flow and we just saved it it will take a couple of seconds to trigger this or start this flow and uh, will come into a my uh, will come into a uh, outlook box so meanwhile i will discuss about the conditional conditions here so here i have this send an email so i'm clicking this one if you click this add an action you can able to see the control here in the all operations if i select this controls now we we have this conditions and we have this apply to each we have do until we have scope we have switch and we have terminate as well now i'll take this condition it's a like it's like an if condition if if you pass a statement here which is true you'll get it into this side which is an s side if the statement is true if the statement is false and it will go into the no side so there is two different branches are available here yes branch and no branch so before that if you go to here and you got this one to support account uh, which is coming from the support account again hi support thank you for creating a new item in the city list please find below details in your item so now you got the title you got the department you got the city you got the car phone and you got this information from here so now what i'll do is now i have I want to do some conditional uh, things here for example if the department is admin I want to send an email if the department is something else I don't want to send an email so for that what I'll do is I'll 
I'll try to take the uh, condition here, so we, which is department value is equal to, I'll put something called admin. If the department value is equal to admin, I want to send an email. So in, in the Power Automate, we have a great advantage with the drag and drop. So or you can copy paste this one as well. Now we'll discuss about the drag and drop. So if you, if you drag here, you can able to see this symbol. When you see this symbol, you can drop that one. Once you drop and you can able to see this one. And if this is not equal to this, you don't want to run anything. So that's why I'm not putting any condition here. So we'll, we'll keep this one empty or you want to pass some message, you can able to pass some message, but I'm not going to do anything here. Now I'll try to save this one. Now we'll see what happens to this. Now I'll create a new entry here. I'll go to the department contact type and uh, which is a test two and city. I'll give something like Bangalore and then car phone is zero eight uh, zero and then we'll give one two three four five six seven eight and uh, this is not mandatory and uh, this is also not much important but you can put anything now this is most important for example if i select copy of management instead of selecting the admin and when i click save now the data is added here but i want to check for example uh, as as per this uh, flow and which will not send an email if the, this condition fails. So definitely this condition will fail because I have taken this department value is equal to admin, but I, I have created an item with the management, with, with a copy of management. So I will not receive any email, we'll wait for a while. But if you want to check what's gonna happen, for example, you are not receiving any email. So that is only the core action we have in the flow. If you want to check what happened in, inside that flow, you can able to check from here but and it will take time and this flows triggered three minutes back and the latest one is not uh, triggered yet and this is the place where you can get the history so uh, as we discussed in the previous session we it only keeps maximum 20 28 days run history and also if, if you feel maybe uh, you're not getting an email and your actions is not happening you want to know what happened in the flow you can come back and you can check check it out here so we'll wait for a while and we'll try to refresh this one and uh, the flow will start maybe uh, maybe it is failed or it is success whatever it is it should have to start uh, we'll wait and we have created another item called test 2 and I hope uh, the flow will start in a while yes so which is started and successful we'll see what happened now when you go back when you go to the history of it and which is run successful so that's fine and when you go to the condition the condition is false now you can able to see which is false so that's why that's why it will go this side and this side we don't have any actions uh, we don't have any action so that's why we cannot able to see this side but if you go to the yes side there is an action which is not ran so if you see this green tick mark which which means it is successfully run and which is successfully ran if you see this cross mark without any color and this gray color if you see this gray color which means it is not run yet which means the flow is completed but uh, this condition and this side actions will not run because this statement is false and if, if you see any any like this mark with a red color which means and uh, there is something happened and uh, the error is occurred in that action so that way you can able to identify the history of the flow and if you have any issues and you can able to see where exact issue is happened so anyhow we have very less actions here so that's why we cannot able to understand much but if we have more actions inside the flow we can able to understand exactly what happens inside the flow so that's a great advantage with ms flow history now here this is not happened what i'll do is i'll create one more item and we'll see the condition is working as expected or not and this point of time i'll give a test three uh, i'll give like delhi and i'll enter something like uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and uh, so this is a string and this 
is not important and here I'll select the department as admin now when I click apply and uh, this is more than enough and try to save this one now the data is saved here and in a while I hope uh, the flow will start triggering and then it will send an email notification to this account we'll wait Okay, we'll try to open this one. Okay, which is started and completed. And if I go back here, which is run successfully, if I click this one, the condition again false. We'll see the input here. Inputs which is showing false. That's fine. To identify this one, like we are not received anything. We didn't receive any email, but the condition saying that which is false. Now, what I'll do is now I will try to edit this one. We'll put one action here, so which is called get item. We'll take the same URL which is a modern site which is same now we'll select the CT test now this point of time will take the same ID of this one okay so now which is good now I'll try to save this one now we'll test this one without adding the data now I'll click this one now if you go to automatically when you select this automatically you can take with a recently used trigger i'll click this success one the previous one and when you click test now it will retrieve all the information in the get item when i click this get item now i can able to see here and i was taking this one as a department value and if i take this admin and uh, this is only up to here and uh, this one also including inside that one so which means only the label is properly showing as admin so based on this one we'll change this we'll come back instead of taking this we'll take departments label and equal to admin now save this one now we'll try to test this one which is run 46 seconds back now when you click test now this condition is true and it sent an email the same fashion we'll try to edit this one and I'll take this one is the current one which is ran and uh, this one is a minute back and this one is two minutes back and this one is five minutes back I'll test this one and this one would be the previous item which is copy of management I will try to run this one click test and this is successful this is successful and when you click this one now this is fake, false why it is false because when you go to this label and department label is copy of management so that's why this is false this condition is false and it, it is not sent any email and this action is failed to run because this only moves to the no section so this way you can able to use the condition and condition will check the input and if it is true it will go to the s side if the condition is false it will go to the no side and we have different type of conditions also different type of uh, now switch we have and we have apply apply to use to loop the items so we have different things we'll discuss that in the upcoming videos